Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Peter Clossy of GTA Resources and Mining, and of course a, a well-known investor, Intel contributing editor. How are you today, Peter? Uh, it's PDAC. I'm thrilled. I'm having a great time. Speaking of PDAC, it's my understanding that you are the main buzz. GTA Resources is the main buzz at PDAC. Uh, can I just ask you, what have you done now, Peter? For about two months, we've been working on a project, and we were able to announce it this week. And we are the first company in Canada to do a flow-through crowdfunder. Okay, I've heard of crowdfunding. Of course we have. We've got David Drake on our team and, of course, flow-through. Okay, but how have you put these two together? I, I don't understand. At the end of January, the Ontario Securities Commission passed amendments to the Securities Act. I know it's a little boring, but they brought in what's called crowdfunding, a colloquial term for accessing capital from smaller investors. There's certain rules that have to be followed, but if you follow the rules, you can raise money from new sources. Those new sources can now access opportunities that they couldn't access before. So that's crowdfunding. We have flow through for which we thank Ned Goodman. Ned Goodman created the popularity of flow through. Flow through is the, uh, under the Income Tax Act, you get a credit when you invest in a certain kind of company. And that provides an incentive to invest in that company. In natural resources, if you invest $100, you can get a $100 credit on your income tax. And depending on what province you're in, you get an additional credit on top of that. So we have married that concept of using the Income Tax Act as an incentive and married it to crowdfunding as an incentive. And we're the first company in Canada doing flow through crowdfunding. Okay, and this, is, this, this actually is very exciting to me as well. Can you tell me how much you're trying to raise here, Peter? We're looking to raise $250,000, which is not a lot of money. We probably could have raised it from uh, some of the investment funds and contacts of the company, but we're looking out to the future. We needed to expand the capital base, and this to us seemed like a brilliant way to do it. And so kind of the sales pitch to those of us out there interested, of course, in crowdfunding is what? You invest in GTA resources and we're going to drill some holes and, and try and hit gold, or what, what's going on here? Well, the main use of proceeds is to explore. When you raise flow through capital, it can only be spent in the field. One of our properties is called the Borden Lake Eastern Extension, also called the Ivanhoe property. Now, because there's an Eastern Extension, you might expect there's a Western Extension, and there is. The Western Extension sold for over half a, mil half a billion dollars last year. Gold Corp bought it for 526 Canadian million dollars from Probe. That's the Western Extension. We own the Eastern Extension. So we will use the money that we raise on this flow through to go explore that property, do some diamond drilling, take some assays, report the results. The West half sold for half a billion. Let's see what value we can prove up on the East side. And of course, we know that you're an expert on compliance, so I know you're doing this properly, and I know you've been researching this for quite some time. Can you tell us what the minimum investment is for someone participating in this crowdfunding slash uh, flow through deal? Uh, the way we're doing it is at a higher level of compliance than is said in the statute. Under the statute, you could invest one dollar as long as all the other rules are met and be considered a valid, proper uh, crowdfunder. So Peter, I have to tell you, I'm in the buzz. I'm part of the PDAC buzz here for GTA. I'm excited about what you're doing, but I think part of the reason why I'm excited is I know the team at GTA Resources. And for those out there at Investor Intel who may not know your management team, could you give us a quick overview? Sure. We take our, our responsibilities to the shareholders very seriously. It's your money that we're dealing with. We never forget that we are just stewards of that capital. To that end, we only have 33 million shares outstanding. The company has never done a consolidation of the stock. And yet we have four excellent mining assets. We've been able to build the company to that level. Our CFO is long experienced in mining, is fantastic at compliance, and keeps the company on the straight rails. Our chair is Burks Bovaird, very well-known mining and finance figure up and down Bay Street. Our chief executive officer is Wayne Reed, a very well-known name in mining. We have part of what we call the Newfoundland Mafia, being the Stairs family, involved, and they're good friends with Mr. Reed as well. Bob Dewis is our VPX, and anybody in Northern Ontario in mining knows Bob. We have a fantastic team that works extremely well together. We reach out to embrace First Nations, we embrace local communities, 
and we've been able to pull everybody together into a successful team. So how, what's the timeline for this raise? It's going to take us about a week to get the paperwork done. Uh, there are certain things that have to be done in accordance with the law uh, and working with a restricted dealer or an exempt market dealer to make it happen. We expect to be live in about seven to ten days. Okay, so can we have you come back and say two weeks to let us know how this crowdfunding, being the first crowdfunding flow through deal in Canada is going? Absolutely, and I expect that you'll hear a lot about it. There's been a lot of buzz. My phone's ringing off the hook with people asking for an explanation. So you will be hearing about it. And as soon as I finish this interview, um, I'm going to give Peter this $10 and figure <laughs> out how to get my money into this crowdfunding deal. Peter, thank you. As always, it was a pleasure. Thanks for your support. Always nice to see you.